have a Subaru WRX 2015. Now this one's a little in rough shape, but it is modified, so we can check it out real quick. Rough shape? Clear coat is peeling, okay? That's that's the only thing. And the fitment, you know, the bumper fitment, not that great. You got the dash wheels, you know, represent the rotors. This dude is on some rotors. We got the cool sticker. Woo, got the WRX logo right there, beautiful. NRG wing, it was huge little, woo, so bright. Turn it down for you. Looking good. All right, with the Subaru WRX 2015, with the eye doing head unit. Should be a very simple install. Oop, my phone fell. I already kind of unboxed it right here. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so we're in the Subaru WRX. We have the 2015 really ugly old radio. To remove this bad boy, it's actually pretty easy. There's these clips up top. Now these clips are actually Super hard to take off, um, but you have to use a prying tool. Looks like this one's already been taken off though, so <laughs> that's good. But you just pull it. Oh, <laughs> well, it's very brittle. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> we'll get you a new head unit. So you can tell. Um, this car bus has been sitting in the sun a lot because you can tell it's faded here and the plastic is really, really brittle. After that, you remove, <laughs> you remove these. Oh, you never had that happen before. I guess the older these cars get. There you go. You wanna keep these buttons and the vents. <laughs> oh my gosh. Same thing right here, you just pull it out, and then you have the AC climate control. Easy takeoff. Okay. Now I think this, this head unit has been removed before because there's Phillips and it's usually 10 mils. So that's kind of unusual that it's Phillips screw. Phillips All right, so we're just gonna screw this. Use power tools. Or whatnot. Very easy to remove. This, I like to put it right here. Usually you put your Subaru keys right there. No! Okay, good. Pull this whole thing out and unplug. Just make sure you don't scrape the. Oh, wow. What's going on? Aftermarket stuff. So it has been removed. There you go. And we are almost done here. So you can set this aside so we're safe. Now I'm gonna remove the vents because this is probably the hardest part to do. So these are the OEM vents. There would be these tabs work on one side at a time. So you just kind of lift it up and pull it out. Judging by the state of the unit, you want to be super careful. These are usually pretty flexible, but because of the it's how brittle this thing is, you, know what? you definitely want to. So you just pop them off. I'm just trying to be slow so then it can be safe. All right, so after you remove those vents, you do the reverse and put them back into the new head unit. Here are the climate controls. You want to unscrew the four right here and then transfer it over as well. Nice. All right, so we have the vents removed and we have the climate control removed. Let's move it on to the new unit. Oh yeah, he also got the buttons. The buttons um, just get pressed out. There are these clips on the side. 
usually you can just push it out and it comes through with just pushing it from the back side. But yeah, you won't get that. All right, so um, I'm gonna show you the button again because I didn't really show that in the video. So it goes this way. For you to push it out, you just legitimately, you see how these clips are, you just push it out like that and it comes out. Same with this, you'll see these little clips right here. There's four of them, tiny. Usually with just force, like if you just push on it, it will go out. Bam. Now we have these vents, make sure they're nice and straight. I like to do one side first. So I'll do the bottom. And then don't all the way push it down. You wanna kinda flex it. All right, so this is the unit. It has the vents installed, it has the hazard, the midfield view display. We have the AC, it's clipped on two on the top and then we screwed on here. So now we need to plug it in. With I doing, it comes with all these extra harnesses, which is like great, especially if you wanna do the camera, also great. Um, they give you, iDoing does give you the wiring to have the camera from the top to the bottom. The problem that we're facing is this car is kind of old and the plastic is kind of brittle. So we were debating if we want to remove this, which is a really difficult piece to remove. Um, it's not, it's, it's simple, but difficult in terms of you need to put a lot of force into it, pulling it this way. And imagine if we try to loop some zip ties or we try to pull it, um, we just feel like the plastic will be so brittle that this little plastic needs to hold a ton of force when we're trying to pull it out. So we're gonna not do that. To install the head unit, the iDoings are the one of the few manufacturers who just have the plug. So you just legitimately just plug it in directly and that controls everything. So um, we're gonna just test it, make sure it works. And then we'll put all these Wi-Fi antennas and te um, yeah, Wi-Fi, GPS and so forth. So we will give it a shot. So the thing great about it is there's very little wiring. What's not great about it is there's very little slack. So you just plug it in. There are two plugs. Um, let me see if you can get it from here. But there's a, the 28 pin, and I believe it's a 20 pin at the top, if you can get a view of that. Those are the two that I plugged in. This one's for USB, and the other one is for uh, like a satellite radio. And that's all, the only two you really need. And then you have the AM and FM radio which looks like this, and that plugs into the back. So we have three things plugged in. I'm just gonna give it a little test run. <laughs> Boom, that's an instant turn on. It didn't even, it didn't even do nothing. Great. So we got sound, it's working. We are at, where we need to be. So we're gonna hook up to this little Bluetooth and then report back. So we just connected to the Bluetooth, really simple like any car, and now we can use CarPlay. So if you can hit that use CarPlay. This is an iPhone 13? 14. 14. Pro Max, Ultra. <laughs> and it works. And I don't know, he's picking his words up. All right, so we have the head unit, and this is for us. You need the Wi-Fi plugged in. We have the microphone plugged in and we just have it routed right there. GPS antenna and that's it. Everything else is for reverse camera, which we have up there. You could use it if you wanted to. And then you have RC jacks that we don't need, 4G antennas that we don't plan on using. So it's a pretty simple install. So after that, you plug in the antenna and then these two Ports 28 and I believe a two, four, six, eight, nine, 18 or 20 pin. If I you know, just read that rightly. Oh, 
and we also have USBs right here. So we have the USB go through, snake through here, and it's right here. So if the user ever wants to charge their phones or something like that, it's there. Uh, another thing that I'm gonna add in the description is this kit didn't come with it, but if you wanted to retain your OEM USBs, which is, I believe is in the center console, you have to buy an adapter and you plug in the adapter right here and then you plug it into one of these USBs. So, yeah, there you go. So we're just pushing it in. Um, there are clips down here, and make sure you push right here. These two, you see how there's a little gap? You really wanna push it in. Get that nice fitment. If you don't push in right here hard, you'll have a gap, and it'll mess up all the gaps uh, up here. So uh, that actually looks really good. And uh, yeah, we're done here. So that's the eye doing head unit. Maybe we'll get a quick turn on. If the owner can do the honors. <laughs> I got it. I can't believe it instantly boots like that. We just unplugged it. And then it's gonna look for your uh, iPhone. Connecting, verified. Okay. And it'll play music. Great. Now, there will be an error right here. I totally forgot about it. For the 15s only, you have to unplug a fuse, uh, then reset it, and then replug the fuse in. I don't remember what fuse is, so I have to like look into the description. Uh, look at the descriptions or the comments, and then I'll reference it. I haven't done it in like eight years, so it's been a while which fuse to pull, but there is a fix so it doesn't say check audio system. Thank you guys for watching this WRX head unit. This is the latest and greatest. I'm gonna turn this on real quick. So I just wanna show you the settings of what kind of how it looks like if you guys were interested. We have all these uh, functionalities right here. One of my favorite is the lantern settings. So I'll keep it red. And what you guys were probably more interested in is seeing the about device. So he's using Android 10. It has a octa-core CPU. Here's all the information. Don't know how much RAM is in it. Maybe it's gonna be in device info. Oh, don't look at that. <laughs> but yeah. It's gonna be a speedy 720 display. So these are now using 720 displays for a while now, which is really nice. Usually it shows your, your RAM right there. You see it? Oh, so you got four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage. Perfect. It's all in the CPU line. Eight, which for the, these systems are so much faster than OEMs. If you, if you move into another 2023, um, you know, Honda Accord or Subaru. It's not an octa core, it's not this fast. Um, like my NSX right there, it's super slow, OEM, you press something, it lags for a second, then it changes and you, it, like, you can see it transition really slowly. Even my Tesla Model S, kinda slow too, these are faster. Now the new AMD Teslas are way faster than this. But before then, uh, Tesla's like the fastest when it comes to CPU computing times. Lucid, I was in the 2023, you would hit a button and it would take ah, three seconds for it to go. And I'm like, dude, this is a brand new car. How could it be this slow? So this is a very fast unit, you don't have any issues and it'll be faster than anything besides maybe like a Tesla, the newer Teslas. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in this iDoing product, we'll leave in the links down below. Very easy to install. It could take you about 20 minutes to do. Uh, it took us about 30, 40 minutes, but we, we, rec we were recording, so there's that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.